Welcome back guys to Dragon Age Origins. Last time we left off we killed the giant ogre guy that's body somehow disappeared and we might have broken the game a little bit to kill him. I used the circle mage and I just ran circles around him when he had aggro but that's not important. Alright so let's see what happens when we click the beacon. And I'm pretty sure that sound just meant I leveled up. Sound. The retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? What a dick. I somehow saw that coming. Pull out! All of you, let's move. Oh, that's not fair. I didn't have enough tactics. Oh, wait. Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. So, if Duncan had two swords, why was he not using both of them when he was fighting that army? He decided to use the other sword only when the ogre came. Logic the wild, out the window. Suppose. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. As you like. Mother is outside with your friend. She wished to see you when you awoke. See, unlike in Mass Effect, there's not really uh, additional questions you can ask. Like in Mass Effect, they have a whole left side of the talking screen to add, ask for additional info on this game. You either choose one through five, and then the story goes on. So that's one thing I wish they would have added. But, oh well. Hopefully in Dragon Age 3, they'll have it like that. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. 
I will stay and make something to eat. Alright, so now that I leveled up, let's put our point in. 20 strength. Uh, I have enough willpower. I'm not using a whole bunch of it right now, so I'm just going to put those points into health. Health is going to be the absolute most important thing. In this mode, the character's shield becomes nearly your fortress. Yeah, see, this is going to be extremely good. Uh, and yeah, as I was saying, shield cover. Uh, and it's not as good as this, I believe. But it also ends up being shield mastery which adds to the benefit of all of them so it's still a necessary thing to pick up okay so I could have picked up taunt but I'd rather just add to my overall survivability before I start worrying about having all the aggro and whatnot so I'm gonna go with that and then I'm gonna have that active and I can get rid of that Let's steal from the person that healed me because that's the only good thing to do. Can't open that yet. So let's go see what's going on. She, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, it sounds like he likes me. Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all... dead. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? But we were fighting the dark spawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Oh, if I back out now, there would be no game, so I guess I'm stuck with it. Then we have to do something. I won't let their deaths be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. By ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon, or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions. <laughs> I like her. Have the Wardens no allies these days? I, 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 I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Olay had been called, and Al Eamon would never stand for this, surely. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar, he still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. 
I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. <laughs> Such determination. How intriguing. I still don't know if Arl Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. No, that's why I'm here. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Well, I can. I don't know about you. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. <laughs> the last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. <laughs> Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which Sorry I value that. above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? If you worry that I will summon demons and transform into an abomination, I assure you, I will at least wait until you are not looking. I feel better already. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. <laughs> All right, so now we have our third permanent lives. member. Do you not agree? And when you first get Morrigan, she starts off with Shapeshifter, which I think is a complete waste of uh, specialization, in my opinion. The forms that this Shapeshifter turns into are not very good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make her a Spirit Healer just so I already have a healer because I don't want to use win that's later on uh, she's gonna have plenty of willpower 
She's not going to be as tanky. Let's see. Yeah, 16. Okay, so I remember that right. Uh, herbalism is going to be important. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's going to be my herbalism person. So for now, I'm going to do something like that. All right. So, so far, so good. Uh, group heal revival is going to be a big thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab group heal. I, sh I can't get revival yet. That's level 8. I'm going to get heal group this glyph of paralysis because that's going to be extremely helpful for later on. Telekinetic weapons gives me armor pin, which is going to be extremely important. Plus, a crushing prism is absolutely amazing in this game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab paralysis. Uh, and once I get 35 magic, I'm going to work towards that. Let's see, sleep. That's going to be also a big one later on. That turns everyone in that area to sleep. I'm going to go ahead and grab telekinetic weapons. And let's see where else I want to go with this. And I can get rejuvenate. I would get rock armor, but I'm not sure how much... Uh, mana she's just gonna have so I won't do that just yet all right and we're over the 15 minute time so I'm gonna end it here and I'm gonna go ahead and do more Ghana's tactics off camera so you guys don't have to watch me do all that again so I know that's not very fun to watch but that's gonna be the end of this video remember to comment on ways that I can improve the video and see you guys next episode.